Hello everybody, welcome to the video. For starters, I don't know what gameplay is in the background of this commentary. I'm gonna record the commentary first and then find a gameplay to put into the background because this is something that's been kind of brewing in my head and I kind of needed to get it out and I don't know if it's considered a public service announcement or if it's gonna do any good, but this is what I wanted to do. If you've been paying attention to the internet, which you probably have because you're watching a YouTube video right now and you're part of this whole internet thing, and being part of YouTube is being part of other social medias and it's called interaction and the globalness of the interaction that YouTube has brought me and the rest of us is something amazing. Well, with that comes the good and everyone knows what the bad is. You know, you have the trolls and the haters and the dipshits and the 12 year old little whiny fucks who, you know, their parents don't love them enough. So what do they do? They try and get someone to at least pay attention to them on the internet and they'll try and type mean things. Well, specifically, Sandy Ravage is running for King of the Web, and he's in second place. He took second place on the leaderboard within the first day he decided to start running for King of the Web because he started running late in the month. In fact, he started running halfway through the competition, and he took second. He went, he jumped to second in a day. However, the person in first, his name is Boogie, who I've never heard of until this whole King of the Web thing. He's in first. Boogie is probably going to win, and that's fine. If he deserves King of the Web, then he gets it. If he gets the most votes, he wins. He deserves to be King of the Web as much as anybody else. Sandy Ravage can run next month if he truly, truly wants to, but either way, Sandy Ravage is gonna walk away from this um, whole competition with uh, $2,000. But what's been happening is a lot of Sandy Ravage, quote unquote, fanboys are going on to Boogie's YouTube channel and they're shit talking him. They're trying to hack his Facebook account. They're trying to hack his YouTube account. They're trying to just really fuck with this guy and make his life miserable because for some reason they think that King of the Web is this big deal. And it's like, do you realize there's a new King of the Web every single month? There's 12 of them a year. So these little kids that are doing this or at least trying to do this or claiming to do this or at least supporting this don't realize that it's not that big of a deal and it isn't it's about a friendly competition it's just one more interactive thing to do on the internet and i think it's really cool i think it's cool that it kind of shows how much people like sandy ravage in the sense that once again he started halfway through the month and he's already jumped into second place and he'll probably win second place and i don't know whose third place is but sandy ravage has already tripled that but this guy is about double boogie is double what sandy ravage is but when you go onto this guy's channel and you leave a nasty comment, this boogie guy, when you leave a nasty comment to him, personally insulting him, personally attacking him in the name of Sandy Ravage, you're doing it alone because Sandy Ravage, the persona of Sandy Ravage, what does that stand for? It's about rushing around in Call of Duty. It's about rock and roll. It's about sticking it to the man. It's about living your life. It's about having fun while playing a game. It's about, you know, kicking back, drinking a beer, having fun. You know, it's, it's, that's what it's about. I'm pretty sure shit talking some guy on the internet about some internet competition that doesn't mean anything is part of the whole Sandy Ravage persona. So all these little kids that are doing this in the name of Sandy Ravage, knock it off. And don't knock it off just because, well, it's immature, it's the wrong thing to do, you look pathetic and you're a loser, and it's not going to amount to anything in life. Because as, as I say that to you, I know that's not registering with you. Because if that was able to register with you, then this doesn't apply to you. So the reason I want you to knock it off is because Sandy Ravage is being ruined for me i love sandy ravage and what it represents yes i have an ac 130 sandy ravage hoodie and you want to know something even if it wasn't a sandy ravage hoodie because i don't think his name is anywhere on that hoodie even if it wasn't his hoodie i'd still get it because that ac 130 and the acdc logo lettering it's fucking kick ass because if you play call of duty you fucking love the ac 130 i digress so if you're shit talking on the internet in the name of Sandy Ravage you stand alone and stop wasting my time Boogie's time and your time by ruining something that I like okay 
Sandy Ravage is not the reason I started YouTube commentaries, but this particular issue is the reason I started YouTube commentaries, because it's like, where the hell is the voice of reason? There's already enough factions and bullshit and camps and Team Jacob and Team Edward and Team Ravage and Team Thunderstruck and Team Fearcrads and whatever. There's enough of that fucking childish lunch room cafeteria which table can I sit at uh, you can't stand next to us during recess give me all your lunch money bullshit going on on the internet all right we're all doing the same thing all right you shit talk a guy because he's you know whatever some fuck on the internet well guess what you're on the exact same internet shit talking him on it so I don't know that's like calling the pot black or some shit I don't know all those old sayings so anyways I'll play some D1 Aqua Vibe. I'll get this commentary done out of the way. Like I said, I don't know what gameplay it is. Hopefully it's a good one, and hopefully it's one that I'm winning, or at least, you know, doing good at, because I learned a lesson a long time ago that don't use bad or mediocre gameplays on your channel because you never know when a video might blow up and go national as far as YouTube is concerned and get viewed by tens of thousands of people around the world and they all saw your shitty gameplay and it's just like oh all right i learned from that mistake a while ago and i learned my lesson so enjoy the video quit talking this shit about the boogie guy if he deserves to win it then he deserves to win it he deserves to win as much as any other guy so let him win all right it's only for a month it's only temporary it's no big deal king of the web it's about as real as Santa Claus, as real as Sandy Ravage himself, and as real as the Easter Bunny. Happy Easter, everybody. Have a good Friday. If you don't do the Easter thing, um, I don't know. Just go to someone's house that does, and just fake it, and get free food out of it, alright? So, I hope you, everyone enjoyed their day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.